All right, now, I would like you to, when you're shading, I want you to put, lay your pencil down really flat. Um, and I know like a lot of you are right-handed, so you, yours might be going this way, but that's okay. So lay it down flat, and you're gonna start by just laying down some pencil lead, some graphite. You're gonna just do that in a vertical way here, because this is a vertically um, situated piece of glass, all right? And so let's put a little bit of the darker shading towards the edge and go all the way down by the wick. And before we go any further with that, I want you to blend it. Now you can blend it either with your finger or with a Q-tip. Actually, if we were really like using all the right tools, if we were at school, we would be using something called a blending stick. And these work awesome. They just make the pencil look really kind of shadowy, but I know you don't have those at home, so it's okay. You can use the Q-tip if you don't really like how it feels on your finger, or you can just use your finger. And it's okay if it gets a little bit outside of the lines, you know, like we can use our eraser and fix some of that. In fact, the next step is using an eraser. Um, so if you went outside the lines at all, just to clean that up, like I got a little bit carried away there, cleaning that up. And then, I don't know if you can see the photo, but there is like this little shiny kind of edge right on the left side. So use your eraser to draw in that little shiny edge. Okay, now I see a really bright light highlight next. And so I'm gonna skip over part of this and then I'm gonna draw a shadow that's kind of going right down the middle. So there's a kind of a darkness there. And then actually this highlight stops right here because it's the bottom of the window. And that's where the bottom of the window was reflecting. And so I'm just gonna get that in there and shade that in. So add some more pencil. Oops, I picked up this awesome drawing pencil, but I'm gonna stick with my regular pencil because I know that's what you have. And then I'm gonna add another shadow here. Put a little bit on the edge here. So there's just some, some lines that we need to fill in with shading, some, some shapes of shadows. Think of it as like you're coloring in the shapes of the shadows and you're gonna leave some highlights white. We're also gonna use our eraser to really bring out some of those highlights. So you see a couple highlights at the bottom if you're looking at the photo. So I'm just leaving a couple spaces there and I'm coloring that shadow in between there also. And then this part is dark too. So color that part in. All right, now let's blend this a little bit. Oh, and this whole circle, this whole oval part up here is pretty dark like that. Okay, so using your finger or a Q-tip, just blend that pencil. I know it's gonna look kind of smudgy. You're kind of probably gonna get fingerprints on the background, but that's okay. Okay, now we gotta clean it up a little bit with our eraser to make those highlights even brighter. All right, so this highlight goes all the way up to the very top. And that's the cool thing. It'll, it'll start to look like the glass goes up higher in the front and down lower in the back if you erase it all the way up through that line there. All right, so that goes all the way up here and clean that up with bright eraser marks. Nice. All right, and then clean up this one down here clean up this one and then get some beautiful white bright highlights right here and here. Ooh, that looks like glass, doesn't it? Ah, that's fun. Okay, nice. 
All right, now let's focus on the bottom part of the drawing. So you definitely need to get, oh, I picked up the wrong pencil again. I should move that one. You definitely need to get the dark shadows in between these um, metal pointy shapes there. So fill those in with dark shadows. And then this, if you look carefully at that um, dome where the wick is, this part over here is pretty dark. It's like in a shadow because as you remember, the window was over on the left side. So this side has a super bright highlight and then it's kind of medium in the middle and then it gets darker as you go to the right side. So just use your pencil to kind of show those different values. All right, you might want to put your wick in there a little darker too. Okay, and then you can blend that a little bit. It's okay if you get some of it on the rest of the drawing. And then clean up that super bright highlight right here with your eraser. Get that nice and bright again. All right, nice. All right, now let's see. I'm just gonna put a little more dark pencil in here. This part over here is pretty dark, so color that whole part in. And then these ones are pretty light, so they need to have some highlights. So again, we're gonna just erase some of that where the bright light is shining. Nice. All right, now let's put a little shadow under here. So just a little darker going here. And then on this side, let's color that in a little darker. Oh, we better make that a little darker too. And then the holes, if you look at the picture on the computer, the holes are pretty dark black. So you might wanna just really press hard on some of those. And now I'm just gonna use my finger to spread it across there. There we go, that was quick. All right, a little more shadow under here. Okay, now this part, you'll look at the shadows and look at the highlights real quick. So you, you'll probably notice there's like a little curve around here where we need to draw another line that kind of matches the curve we already drew. And that kind of comes around here too. And then we've got some dark shadow back here, dark shadow here. And I'm just gonna fast forward some of this, but basically I am curving my pencil strokes so that it shows the curve of that metal. And I'm gonna blend it. And then highlight. Okay, I see that we forgot to draw this little piece right here that comes down vertically. So you might wanna add that in. Curves a little bit right there at the bottom. Make a little circle there. So this part I need to erase.
I wouldn't worry too much about trying to draw in the dust that you might see if you're looking at the photo. There's some dust, especially on the bottom. You can skip the dust because that just shows that Miss Rose doesn't dust as much as she should. <laughs> and I'm just finishing up the bottom part here. I know my video is getting a little long, so I'm trying to go fast. Feel free to pause the video and rewind it if you need to see something again. So this handle right here, I'm kind of speeding through it, but it is important that you get it like this. And then this part comes up here and then it comes here. So that's important to make it look 3D. So just shade that in a little bit and then blend it. And then you can clean up if you're if your blending got a little bit carried away, just kind of use your eraser to clean up the edges. Okay. All right, so there's also a shadow that kind of comes over here. If you look on the picture, you'll see this shadow here. I think it's really important not to forget that shadow. So I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of color, super light, and I'm gonna do most of the blending with my finger here. So it looks soft like a shadow should look. Okay, erase this part. There we go. All right. I am excited to see how your drawing turned out. I would love it if you would take a photo and attach it as a response to this activity and I hope you will be on the lookout for all things B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L.